In the first round of playoff action, the first seeded Hillers hockey team took on 17th seeded Silver Lake at the Canton Ice House on Friday, February 28th. The Hillers offense picked up right where they left off, netting two goals in the first period. There's a quick shot, turned away, secondary shot by Amblin is turned away as well. Nearly had it, Walsh sends it out, back into Rogers, goal! Hillers up, 1-0, Kyle Rogers! Just a great play from right off the faceoff, Sean Walsh with a great move, got the initial shot, went wide, but was able to go in, retrieve that puck, and he always seems to get that puck right on Kyle Rogers' stick out front. Send it out, takes a hit into the corner, out in front, Rogers looking for the shot, high slot, got it! Kyle Rogers does it again! Well, this line is definitely the top line of the league. It's all All-Stars, and they're showing it here tonight. They just know how to play with each other, find each other great. And Kyle Rogers, one of the best shots in going. It was 2-0 Hillers after the first. Silver Lake netted a goal with 8.57 left, but the Hillers responded in a big way. Two of his bounce there for the Hillers. That one came out at a 45 degree angle. Sheamus racing up the ice. Takes a oh. shot, no! Ronnie Sheamus! What a beautiful play there by Sheamus. Came down the boards to keep that puck in. Saw that he had a lane and went in and he snapped that thing top corner. That goal comes with 8-11 left to go in the second. The Hillers have had some big shorthanded goals this year, Tom. None bigger than that right now to break Silver Lake's momentum here. And guess what? That was the first goal of the season for Ronnie Sheamus. Walsh sends it back, and it's picked up by Wolf. And now it's stolen away by Rogers. Here he comes. Rogers leaves it for Walsh. Shot goal! Sean Walsh does it again! What a play there. Sean Walsh with a beautiful goal by Kyle Rogers at the neutral zone. Made a neat little move to get that puck away from Silver Lake. Came in and slipped a pass to the leading Walsh right under the legs of the defenseman. And Walsh put it home. Back to Mera. Takes a shot and a goal! Wow, Bobbitt Mera! Grady Sullivan didn't have a chance with that one. Uh, credit Hamill and Rogers in front. They created some good traffic. The uh, Silver Lake goalie was struggling to see that puck coming through. It was a 5-2 game after the second, but the Hillers hung on for the 5-3 win and advanced to the quarterfinals. On Sunday, March 1st, the first-seeded Hillers met up with ninth-seeded Bishop Stang in the quarterfinals. Hillers trailed one to nothing heading into the second period until Sean Walsh tied things up. Along the far side corner, Sean Walsh trying to dig it out. Hamlet over to Sean Walsh. Shot turned away. Then a second ever shot. Yes. Well, you knew it wasn't going to take for long. Sean Walsh. Tough to keep him down, made the nice move around, took the shot, and then got his own rebound. Bishop Stang would net two goals after that and go up 3-1, to one, but the Hillers responded with a goal of their own. Stick of Rogers, and a tremendous save once again by Dorr. Leaves it for Mera. And Mera out in front, Hamlet jams it in! Beauty! Great play by Mera there in the corner. He waited, got around the defenseman, sent the puck right out front, and Hamlet... Again, had a little bit of a puck jump on him, but he was able to get the second rebound, put it home. That's huge here. In the third period, some tremendous goaltending by Bishop Stang's Matt Dorr forced the Hillers to pull their goaltender, and the Spartans would net two empty net goals and take the upset win over the Hillers 5-2. Hopkinton ends their tremendous season with a record of 20 wins and two losses. Congratulations to the team and Coach McPherson on an unbelievable run. They certainly have a lot to be proud of.